I got a great question from the Diocese of Maitland, Newcastle in New South Wales, Australia about making the transition from Microsoft Office 2003 to Office 2010, leapfrogging 2007 altogether. Office 2010 has a bunch of new features compared to Office 2003, most notably the new user interface. The ribbon, which is this crazy thing along the top, replaces the customary menu system found in Office 2003, and by default displays several new elements. The File tab replaces the File menu and displays Backstage View, along with many different functions that affect the entire document. The Command tabs replace the rest of the traditional menus and toolbars found in Office 2003. Don't worry, all the commands you know and love are still in here, but they're accessed a little differently now. Check out our many tutorials on Office 2010 and its component applications to find out how to accomplish those actions using the ribbon. If the ribbon is really getting in your way, you can minimize it by clicking this button in the upper right corner of the window next to the Microsoft Office Help button. When selected, this will display only the tabs, which still gives you access to all of the commands. To maximize or display the ribbon, click on the button again. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Control F1 or double click on a tab with the mouse to minimize and maximize the ribbon. Contextual tabs appear on the ribbon when an object is selected. For example, with the table selected, the Table Tools Contextual tab appears at the top of the window in the title bar with two additional command tabs, one for the design of the table and one for the layout. The Contextual tab disappears once you click outside the object. Galleries exist within many of the tabs and provide a thumbnail view. For example, click on the Page Layout command tab, and then click on the themes there to see some theme thumbnails. Most galleries in the ribbon support Live Preview, which allows you to view how specific formatting will look before selecting it. Notice how the text in the document changes when moving from one theme to the next. You can also customize the ribbon. Check out the Atomic Learning tutorials on customizing the ribbon in the Microsoft Office 2010 What's New series for more information on that feature. The mini toolbar appears on the workspace when text is selected and provides frequently used formatting commands. The mini toolbar will disappear from the workspace when the text is deselected. Screen tips are displayed on the screen when you rest your mouse over a command. They provide the name of the command and the keyboard shortcut, if applicable. The Quick Access Toolbar at the top of the window above the ribbon provides single-click access to the most commonly used commands in the application. By default, Save, Undo, and Redo commands appear on the Quick Access Toolbar. The Status Bar at the bottom of the window has also changed and now includes some of the commands from the View menu found in previous versions of the Microsoft Office applications. A new feature called the Zoom Slider displays the current magnification of the document. These changes to the interface have created a result-oriented environment by opening up the active workspace and allowing users to more easily find and use advanced features. For more information, be sure to check out AtomicLearning.com and search for Office 2010.